January 15th, 2016. Time for the Mid Stakes Poker Tour year 2016. This is a big buy in. This is a big tournament. The big prize cash pool, minimum of 50,000. I am ready. I'm prepared. I'm confident. Energized, slept well. I'm going to play my game and play it right. It's a perfect balance between patience and aggression. It's a perfect balance between playing low ball and playing aggressive. Let's see what happens. Well, I thought I'd put on video my thoughts of my first major, my first mini major poker tournament, massive in person, multi table, hundreds of people. In fact, there were 600 buy ins in this multi table tournament in Milwaukee. Um, thought I was prepared, thought I was ready, but here's what happened. In order to win poker tournaments, you got to be mentally prepared, you got to be physically prepared. You got to be disciplined, you got to be patient, you got to have a game plan, and you got to be able to keep up with the competition. You got to have a strategy. The list goes on and on and on. For me, um, I was not physically prepared, I was not mentally prepared to make the cut, and therefore, I did not make the cut. Um, not discouraged, it was a great learning experience. Next time I will not get a chiropractic adjustment on the same day of the tournament because that definitely worked to my disadvantage. It left me kind of fatigued, less focused, um, achy. I developed a headache. I don't know if it was nerves or whatever, but um, I'll give you the, the A, B, and C, the, the good, bad, the ugly. The good, I had some incredible hands. I played pocket pair very patiently, very strategically. In fact, within the first two hours, I was able to get trips on the river with trip nines against a gentleman right next to me who flopped 888 on the flop. Um, his betting was not aggressive enough to get me out of the hand, so I kept calling him. And when I hit nine on the river, I checked after a nice long pause. He show, show, saw that as a sign of weakness, and he went all in. And of course, I called him and I beat him. So that was very satisfying. It was a great learning experience to check raise. It is a great strategic tool. It is manipulative. It shows weakness when you are extremely strong. Um, I didn't put him on trips, but I put him on one or two pair, and I totally dominated him. Um, in talking about the other good at the table, generally speaking, I played pocket pair very, very well. Um, no surprise on that. Um, you know, min raising, not being overly aggressive, trying to draw as many people in to suck out their chips as possible. Um, the bad is everything I was just saying earlier that I was fatigued, which left me about working at a 70% capability or 70% ability range, both mentally and physically. So when you're, you're operating at 70%, you're never going to be able to perform at your full capability, your full going out on the football field ready to win the Super Bowl and I was not there physically or mentally so I had it coming in both ends. Um, when you're feeling physically drained I had a headache, I had a stomach ache, um, I was hungry, I didn't time my meals correctly, I, I had three beers over five hour period just to try and calm my nerves and my stomach. That did not help me, it didn't really hinder me but it didn't help me. So when I'm left to have some coffee, that just really didn't help. Um, 
the ugly, you know, I wasn't patient. I didn't feel I had as much of a game plan or strategy as, as my opponents did, which made me feel consciously or unconsciously a bit weaker at the table, which is inexcusable. Um, I should be ready to, to make the cut at this point in my poker playing career. Um, my in-person experience is continuing to develop. It is growing and morphing and it was a great learning experience. I can't wait to do it again and I hope to you know make some of the larger tournaments in the upcoming year next year and the years following uh, via satellites. Whether it's fifty, sixty-five dollar satellites would be wonderful. Um, the players at my table were incredible. In fact, and I'll end the video right here. I learned today that the gentleman sitting just two seats away from me came in second place in the main event at the same venue last fall. His name is Travis um, Lawson, and he was up $65,000 for second place. He's sitting just two seats away from me. I didn't know that till today. <laughs> But wow, you're playing with the big boys, so you better be able to play just as well as them. That's all I got to say in this video diary, and it's more of a self-serving diary than it is for YouTube or the public, but uh, it is what it is. Until next time, better luck. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and please share. This is Kimok7. Put it out! Boop!